Hi Cancer, welcome to your January 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. I don't know if you could tell I was pausing trying to frantically remember exactly you know what month I was doing because I'm recording this in December like a month before, well three weeks before. I just wanted to say before I talk about January that I have your sign uh, for 2018, a tarot uh, overview on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I haven't done all the signs yet, but I know I've done yours. And same with Vimeo. I have like a love reading for 2018, and this is specifically for single people because my YouTube readings tend to be more like uh, relationship related. So that one is on Vimeo and the link for that is below. And I also have a link to my private, for my private readings. My website is rainamoonastrology.com and, and that's a, a, there's a link below for that. And, but I also wanted to tell you that in January, you're going to have a full moon on the very first of the month, which I think is pretty cool for all of us, but especially for cancer people, because it's like, you know, we think of uh, the first day of the year. Now, of course, I'm talking about in the Western world, I'm not talking about a lunar calendar. Uh, but in the Western world, we think January 1st, that's the first day of the year. And as a result, you know, you think of beginnings, and yet the, there's going to be a full moon, which kind of connects to endings. And for cancer, that's just your basic way of uh, being, maybe in one area, I don't know. But what's nice about this year is that we start the year getting over Mercury retrograde. So I believe it was last year, and maybe it's been, it was two years in a row that we had Mercury retrograde going into the new year. And I think that always throws things out of whack. I don't remember if, if last year was like that, but I'm glad that this year we're um, going to start the year with a, a full moon because it's kind of like that final purge. One door closes, another opens. And then, of course, we have another uh, full moon on the 31st, and that's going to be the blue moon in uh, Leo. So that's interesting. All right, so here is this. Whoa, I was just thinking about getting all this earth energy. Um, look, three pentacles right off the bat. And I've gotten this for other signs as well. So this is, um, I wonder if this is because it's Capricorn that we start the year with. Wow, okay. Well, the first thing, as I said, there's a lot of earth energy in that top row. So you may literally be dealing with earth signs as well as career matters. Now, um, Taurus is especially featured because this card, the Knight of Pentacles, connects with Taurus. I always connect it with Capricorn. Uh, the other earth sign is Virgo. This is a person who is very, uh, I was going to say plotting, which sounds bad though, is somebody who is just uh, very driven uh, uh, to make money, very hardworking. Maybe they have a certain goal in mind, like having a down payment for a house. But they're very dependable. They're the kind of, they're salt of the earth, a person that you can count on, which is really your type of person. But this is in the past position for whatever reason. Maybe this is somebody that you used to date or um, you were separated from them. Because I do get right now this as the overview for January, the Page of Pentacles. So maybe you hear from this person again. And by the way, that Knight of Pentacles, maybe they um, had some job that took them far away. And you hear from them, and uh, they are still thinking of you. Maybe they're in the military. And uh, 
you you're saying, well, you know, how do I wait for somebody who may be gone for a long time and that you hear from them, you may be very happy. Um, we have here with the Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning around something involving money. So whether it's, um, or an earth sign. So it could be dealing with this person. Uh, perhaps they were not a, an actual partner ever, but they were somebody that you were starting to talk to and then they got a job offer and you didn't see them. And now you've, you're hearing from them again. Maybe they're coming back to town and uh, you're able to actually begin that relationship. Aces are about beginnings. This could be something along the lines for you job-wise where you're starting a new, you're getting a job offer. And certainly in the first month of the year, that is not uncommon, you know, for people to see their, their lives start to take a new shape um, with a new job, for instance. It, coming off of that retrograde, we may have had delays, and so everything is kind of full speed ahead. I'm kind of getting that vibe from some of this, because even this card as the higher perspective or the spiritual message is the Three of Wands. And this is a card of expansion. So again, it's this idea of moving beyond your own backyard into something grander, into something that, that really broadens your horizons. And it is this card is really associated with, like for instance, an entrepreneur um, looking to open up markets in different countries okay so if you have some kind of an item that you're trying to sell and you're thinking of hey you know maybe i will go and try to sell this somewhere but whatever it is um connected to that person it may be that you're both on the same page where your careers are going gangbuster and you're both um very passionate about what you're doing and now maybe perhaps you can join forces and you can uh, date and you, you can see where your relationship is going. This is also a card. So this card could even be considered a card of travel. Maybe you're going to meet this person up wherever they are. And, um, and, and they contacted you to say, hey, you want to come in and see me sometime? What um, crosses you is represented by the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the, when there's a positive card like the Wheel of Fortune, and it's in the reverse position, or, which is basically how I read the challenge cards, it could be that timing is still not right. There may be something else that has to fall into place before everything starts to gel. And you have to have the faith to know that if there are things that are not making this happen or, uh, you know, whatever, you're trying to start a relationship with, with a person, you know, have no fear because it will happen when it's meant to happen. It could be that for some cancer people, that full moon is really indicative of things in your life that need to really be resolved. And even though, you know, we expect, okay, I have a, a full moon in my sign, so everything is going to magically be resolved. No, it doesn't work that way. That's a bit um, wishful thinking. It really, what it can do is it can show you what is holding you back and keeping you from starting new things, like the Ace of Pentacles indicates. And so it can give you kind of like a revelation about what you need to do. And uh, when it when the timing is right, you will see things start to really happen. With, with you particularly, one thing I want to uh, state is that you have Jupiter in your fifth house of romance. So you have uh, Jupiter in Scorpio until November. 
So this is quite a chunk of time for cancer people to, if you're single, and well, even if you're not single, but especially for people who are just totally unencumbered by um, any kind of obligation to another person, you may have multiple opportunities this year to to find um, to, to to find dating partners. Now, whether they lead to anything serious is another story, but at the very least, you will have um, some great opportunities. You know, a few years back, you had Saturn in this house, and you may have felt that things were kind of like um, not as um, easy when it comes to love. And sometimes when, when people experience something like that, they become like careless where they just are like, I'm just going to, be, you know, or I, what I really meant to say is desperate. And they're just like, I mean, I can't find anybody to, to, to date. So they just like cling to the, the person that happens to be around. And that person may actually um, drain, drain them in some way and, and not contribute to their life. So it's very important to hold out for um, a person who really adds to your life. The advice or what can be coming in the near future is represented by the um, Six of Wands. This is more career glory, you know, more recognition, more sense of accomplishment, feeling like you've won, that you're successful. And um, so I do feel that something is connected to your um, work. And it might even be somebody that you've met through work that you may be reuniting with on some assignment. And maybe you get sent to where they got sent and uh, something along those lines. But this is really good for career. Normally, I don't talk about other aspects of life other than uh, the, the love life. But sometimes there is such an overwhelming suggestion of success in the career and um, opportunities that I can't help but uh, mention it. And the outcome is the lover's card. Well, you know, of course, that's self-explanatory. So you may be joining forces with this person. You know, it's like falling into their arms because of the fact that you have been wanting it for so long. So it's almost like for some people that relationship was something that you you wanted more than anything but you maybe you even wrote it off and you didn't think you would hear from them and here they are calling you it's also possible you know with timing issues because as i do this reading it's during a mercury retrograde in december that you hear from this person now and even though that that um, card is the focus for January, it's, it could still be something that already happened. Uh, and, uh, and if you're in December, it could be about to happen, where you hear from someone. And it, it, like I said, it might not be somebody that you actually dated, but you have this um, strong connection to them. And you've, maybe you were just hoping that they would contact you again, but you weren't sure that that would occur. And so it could be like um, very nice news that you hear. And the, the outcome is the sense of the two of you falling in love and having the, the, the you know, it's funny because the, the lover, you know, the fact that they're naked, of course, that could indicate um, the sexual side of things. But it's also this card of intimacy, the emotional intimacy. And that's one of the things with cancer, because you're a water sign, that really is important to you, is that you have a, a heartfelt connection. And this could be that type of relationship for you. So that would be cool. I hope that that does happen for um, 
at least some of you. And good luck to you in January, Cancer. Take care. Bye.